Italian. Oh. Right turn. What a fine body of soldiers you have there, General. I am proud of you all and wish you good luck when you get to the front line and... We will do our best, Your Majesty. And we'll send back our gallant brothers of the Blue Battalion who have been defending our beloved Greenland from the Arctos menace. Oh, those poor boys need a rest after their arduous tour of duty. Off you go, then. Pink Battalion, three cheers for Queen Lisbeth the 26th. Hip hip, hooray! Hip hip, hooray! Hip hip, hooray! Left turn, quick march! My brave soldier ants! Oh. <laughs> My boys look so smart in uniform, don't you think, Chief Minister? Without a doubt, your Madge. <laughs> Again. I'm terribly sorry, Your Majesty. This is most undignified. Humiliating royalty. It's disgraceful. I, I want him punished. This, this jumping giant. Yes, Your Majesty. Faster, faster. Salt, pepper, vinegar, mustard. Salt, pepper, vinegar, mustard. Salt, pepper. Are you sure this is necessary? Trust me, I'm your trainer, and if I say you need stronger leg muscles, you need stronger leg muscles. But... Do you want to fly better, or don't you? Of course I do. But I use wings for flying, not legs. But you use legs for takeoff and landing. Oh. Anyway, I'm sick of this. I'll do some zigzagging now. Zigzagging tomorrow. It's push-ups next. Uh, what's this? Uh, uh, oh. Not bad, eh? For a beginner. What's my score? Oh, about uh, four out of ten. That's not very good. It's double what I gave you last time. But I keep telling you, you don't need to know how to zigzag. Is that so? And what happens when Arctos comes along, chasing me through the trees and I can't zigzag? What happens then? Suppose I zig instead of zag because I haven't practiced. Tapaluga! How am I going? Watch out! Ow! Supply road A8, grid 13. Yes, this is it. Sergeant, this shouldn't be here. Must be a tree. Remove it. Sir, on your feet. Soldiers, into it. Seat together now. Push. 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 It's hot. A hot tree. It's moving. It's breathing. It's alive! It's that green giant with the big feet. Tie him up. Take him back to the palace. Her Majesty will be very pleased to see you. But, sir, we're supposed to be relieving the Blue Battalion. Oh, yes. You go on ahead. Tell them we'll be there at 0900 hours. Pee! 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 The culprit, Your Highness. No more dust on your royal head. Splendid work, General. You deserve a medal. Have another. 
How did you capture him? It must have been a, a terrible battle. It were nothing, ma'am. We were on our way to relieve the Blue Battalion when... Uh... The Blue Battalion? I completely forgot. They should be back by now. Where are they? There! Where are the others? They didn't see me. I was in the toilet. When I came out, the whole battalion was gone. Taken off to Ice World. Oh, my, my poor babies. And it's all the fault of this, this, whatever it's called. Tabaluga. Oh. <laughs> oh, this criminal is awake. Criminal? Me? Yes, you. Destroying public property. Frightening children. Jumping up and down on the roof of the royal palace. Oopsie. Sorry, I didn't realize. Sorry isn't good enough. Only punishment is good enough. One more. One more and it's a world record. The first time in Iceland. A five-story card house. There's nothing in the rules about not using glue. Ah. I did it, I did it, I... I've brought you a present. What? I've captured an entire army of Greenlanders. And I thought you were an idiot. An army? Oh, I've misjudged you, Private James. And I, I mean, Brigadier James. You deserve a promotion. <laughs> Here, have a medal. Where's this army? I'll freeze them immediately. They look marvelous in the Hall of Fame. And a fine military touch. Here. No, you fool. Where's the army? In here. If this is a joke. I don't know how to joke. I captured them single-handed. Five hundred of them. Shrink them, did you? I didn't have to. Ants aren't very big to start with. Uh, ants? Ooh, I... Ooh, ow, ow! Who are you? <gasps> what am I supposed to do with a load of ants? You could play with them. <laughs> They're kind of cute. Throw it! Toy soldiers. Look left, right, left, right. <laughs> Earrings? <laughs> I've got it. Workers in your factories. <laughs> Making really small things. No more great big clumsy polar bears and penguins. Just neat little ants making teeny weeny little watches for children and... I hate children! <laughs> Minuscule electronic gadgets, perhaps? <laughs> you ninny! Ant technology! Ice World's contribution to the March of Science! I... Private James, put these loathsome insects in the Hall of Fame and as punishment, you'll play chess with me. No, 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 please, sir, anything but that. I already owe you four million dollars. for damaging your home. I promise I'll mend it for you as soon as I can. I admit I was exercising, but I have good reason. For fun? No, to make myself strong so that I could defeat Arctos. <laughs> Arctos, you say? Yes, Arctos. The same Arctos who snatched away and imprisoned your gallant army. The same Arctos who is the enemy of all of us in Greenland. You might be a dragon, but you're only a young dragon. Even if we let you go, how could you possibly hope to defeat this nasty fellow? With fire. Fire? What fire? Dragon's fire. Whoa. You can do that whenever you like. Uh, 
Actually, no. Uh, I sort of run out of puff after one go, but Arctos doesn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> Let him go! And how exactly do you intend to get our boys back? I thought you'd never ask. I have this plan. First of all... Check. You can't do that. I just did. A bishop can't move that way. My bishop can. Rook to king's knight three. Check. Hang on, that's a pawn, not a queen. It's a queen. All my pawns are queens. I just promoted them. And it's checkmate. Oh, goodness me, I've won again. <laughs> now you owe me eight million dollars. <laughs> I wasn't playing for money. <laughs> but I was. Uh -huh. <laughs> must you do that? If you're a vulture, you must. I've heard of vulture soup. <laughs> do you do you hear the news or don't you? Good news, yes. Bad news, no. <laughs> Tabeloga has been captured by the ants. They're bringing him to Ice World. They want to exchange him for your ant prisoners. A dragon for a heap of useless ants? Oh, happiness beyond my wildest dreams. Oh, you beautiful bird. I could eat you. I like it better when it's me. Tell them I agree to the exchange. Got it? I got it. Whoopee! Oh, oh. oh uh, James, my dear fellow, as a special treat, I might even let you win the next game. Oh, check the crystal. I still can't believe I've got that little green lizard at last. It must be the other border. They are your frigidness. Squadron leader James, fly down there and fetch those yes. fools. Yes, those sir. trusting fools. If you get this right, who knows there might be a medal in it for you. Oh, sir, you, you are too generous. Now! <laughs> Lucky me. First I capture those excellent ants and then the jackpot. Tabaluka! <laughs> what do you think of that, Joe? Sire, you've killed two birds with one stone. Have I? Oh, yes, of course I have. I, I, I've killed two birds with the one stone. <laughs> oh, he was brought here. Tapaluka? Wait! Oh. Wait, there's a message here. Hmm? Dear Happy, I have gone to Ice World to give Arctos a hot time. Warm regards from your zigzagging friend Tabaluga. P.S. Wish me luck. Ice World? Happy! Happy! Oh, where's she gone?
as Queen Elizabeth the 26th, her chief minister, her loyal subjects, and one prisoner for exchange. Your Majesty, it is an honor to meet you. Where is she? Eh? <laughs> oh, yes. Is that you? It is. The Queen will now negotiate uh, the exchange of prisoners. Madam, I have only one thing to say, and that is... <laughs> Arrange her highness and her subjects in the Hall of Fame on little pedestals. Tastefully. Yes, your feasingness. And now, to have a look at it last. Oh, what a shame you won't appreciate how thrilling it is to be iced. <laughs> you promised to let the ants go. I lied. Don't move. It spoils my aim. I'm not frightened of you, you posturing little icicle. If you don't... <laughs> Dragonfire. It's inside. You can't freeze me. Guards! Let's see how well your dragon fire works underwater. Arctos, this is a mistake. Oh, it is, is it? The biggest mistake you ever made. So, what are you going to do about it? Defend yourself, why don't you? Hmm? Uh, where's this famous dragon fire now, eh? Come on, fry me! A dragon uses his fire to preserve, not destroy. Oh, rubbish, who told you that? My father. You dreamer, Tyrion's been dead a thousand years. Watch out, Arctos. Don't tempt me. Tabaluga. Oh. Oh. All right, father. I'll be careful. Rexy, breakfast time. <laughs> In. Come on, Tabaluga. If you're the son of Tyrion, why won't he help you? Defend yourself. You can use fire to defend yourself. Negotiation, shall we? This is your captain yeah. speaking. Estimated time of arrival is 15 minutes. We hope you enjoy your flight. Thank you for not smirking. I trust your first class meal is satisfactory? Fine, thank you. Most satisfactory. Due to air turbulence ahead, please fasten your seatbelts as we will be forced to zigzag all the way to Greenland. Zigzag? Zigzag! <laughs> 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 What for? It was Tabaluga who got us out of trouble with his marvelous dragon fire. But it was me who told him to do it. Happy? Here you are. So, that Tabaluga. 
Luca gets his precious ants back and at the same time humiliates me in front of the entire court. What do you say to that? I suppose you can say he killed two birds with the one stone. I still think those ants could give us the technological edge, don't you? Your eyes and ears.